Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shovel Knight, and I am playing Shovel Knight, uh, the campaign which is now known as Shovel of Hope, or uh, the original game for those who have never played it before. Um, I'm going to set a name here. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be Labralax. 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 Uh, that's a silly name. That is a very silly name. Okay, I don't care. Go. Go. No. No buddy swap mode. No weird stuff. Let's go. I played this for about 20 minutes or so earlier before I started this recording. It's it's real good. It's really good. The whole point of this game is meant to be... Oh. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight who are just so cute together. But their, to their, their towels, their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude and lots and lots of wheat for breakfast cereal, but without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress, and her order of no quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. You're not gonna do it from way atop that cliff there, Shovel Knight. You better climb down first. Ready. Nice. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We're playing the feud. Let's do this. All right. So first, right off the bat, treasure. Treasure is everywhere. It teaches you right off the bat. This is this is what a large part of your adventure is going to be like. Is about collecting treasure because, um, well, everybody knows that you're trying to save the world and stuff like that. You're trying to the, you release the kingdom from some sort of horrible tyrannical grasp, but um, they won't give you shit without some money. So you gotta collect a lot of uh, treasure, a lot of gold and coins and, and gems and stuff and all kinds of other pretty things that make cool sound effects when you pick them up. Uh, great sound effects in this game, nice little chiptune things, nice little bits of music here from our, from uh, the good man Vert, who did uh, a lot of the soundtrack for games like Retro City Rampage and who uh, specializes in all kinds of catchy chiptunes. Um, I notice a big pattern with chiptunes is that they kind of have to be catchy because you don't really have a lot of different sounds to work with. Um, that was something that always struck me about NES games is that because there was no real large sound libraries to work with now that we, uh, like what we have now with like, you know, you can download all kinds of sample packs and it all sounds really professional and all mastered and everything like that, there was no such thing back in the NES, so you had to come up with really catchy melodies or else the, the soundtrack would just be completely forgettable and it, of course, it sounds awful because uh, chiptunes don't really have a lot of variance. There's uh, a few different cool sound effects, especially if you like electronic music like I do. Um, oh boy, we're gonna kill this big bubble dragon thing. He doesn't look like a bubble dragon, like from Bubble Bobble, but it'll, let's just go with the illusion. It doesn't matter. He's just like... Uh, I, I don't know. Stop trying to come up with funny stuff, alright? You're just making making yourself look awkward there, buddy. I'm talking to myself. See? I'm talking to myself, and I'm 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 also talking to myself. You, you know, I'm talking to myself and with myself. So this is this is how we're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna we're gonna play hard and we're gonna we're gonna work hard. We're gonna work hard and play harder. Alright, this is what this is all about, okay? I'm 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 having fun doing this video game internet show where I'm looking at the screen and getting like looking at other screens and, like I've got so many screens around me right now I got the Wii U gamepad in front of me with my relic selection thing all ready to go so I don't have to go through menus every time I've got my computer in front of me with my audio capture making sure that doesn't mess up got got all, all kinds of stuff going on it's, it's confusing it's intimidating um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but that's okay. Because look how much fun I'm having! Look how much fun this game is! Look how many colors there are! Look at the, look at the lovely backgrounds, and the waterfalls, and the gems, and the sounds, and the, just the wonderful banquet for the senses. 
Look at look at this grape soda. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the experience is complete. I'm so happy. I I'm just full of wonderment and delight. I'm I'm surrounded by goodness. My life is a bouquet of. I, I used that image already. Uh, a, a, ver a veritable cornucopia! A cornucopia! Of excellence! And divinity! And loveliness! Yes! Kill the thing. I don't know what that is. Is it a bird? Is it a bat? Is it a dinosaur? Who cares? It's all of them. All at once. I love the, the enemy design. It's just sort of quirky and weird. Well, you know, weird blob things. Yeah. It, it, yeah, blobs. Blobs. Okay? They're just blobs. Repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> Very repetitive gameplay, definitely. But, hey, it's fun. It's satisfying. You take a mechanic, you make it perfect, right? That's the idea with these sort of games, is that everything is just honed to absolute perfection. Completely simplistic, repetitive gameplay, but done in such a way that every part of it feels snappy, it feels responsive, it feels, it just feels fun. <laughs> like, look, the little pickups. Like, nice little pixel arts, they're so small on the screen, but they, they make nice little sound effects when they hit the ground and when you pick them up. Bling bling! Alright. Bling bling! Let's do this! Let's jump on these platforms, which, like, we don't question why there are just moving platforms in the middle of this, this cave in, in the woods. But it doesn't matter, because they're fun, okay? It doesn't have to make sense. That's the problem with games these days, is they're so fucking focused on realism that they forget that it's not always fun to be realistic. Completely realistic games are not really all that fun. Sure, they, the, the, I, I don't know. Is immersion more important than fun? I would say in the case of video games, no. If you're trying to present it as some sort of art piece that's not really supposed to have fun gameplay in mind, that's supposed to provide a different experience, then maybe. But uh, I, I kind of like it when it's like this. Just just absolutely fun gameplay mechanics that are, that are just perfected to a degree where you can't really see yourself trying to fix this game, trying to make it fun. Because it's already, it already just looks like they worked so hard on this. It was very much a, a breakout success. No one was, was really expecting it to do as well as it did. But you know what, with uh, with a game like this, it's not really surprising because, I mean, I'm only seven minutes into this episode. Look how much fun I'm having. I'm just ripping through this. Um, that was always a good thing about NES games is that they're, 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 they've got quite a high degree of difficulty. It's, uh, it's easy to learn, difficult to master, and that, back in the day, was how you got longer gameplay, was making a game hard. You know, we didn't have 40 hours worth of cutscenes and dialogue to go through back in the day. We just had a game that you had to master, that you had to become an expert at, so you could like have your friends over and then we would play and then, and then it would be like a 90s video game commercial, they'd just be like, whoa, awesome, oh, oh man, you dick, you bubble dragon piece of shit, Labralax is coming for you. That's right, I'm going to take my revenge. I just love the bouncing mechanic. Oh my god, it's so good. It's just so good because you don't really get to bounce like that like any any other eh, any other time other than when you're using the downward shovel attack. You know, no real reason why it bounces you off of stuff, why you bounce off of blocks while you No! Ugh! You son of a bitch. Okay. So, <laughs> pretty steep difficulty curve right from the beginning, but you know what? That's good, man. I love feeling the thrill. I love the rush. I love the pain. Give it to me. That's right. My audio capture is like full red. My microphone doesn't like this. I gotta get a. I gotta get a better microphone up in here. That would be nice. That would be so nice. Okay, avoid the fucking bubbles. Go fuck yourself. That's right. Yeah, suck it. Suck it down. Eat my shovel. Take it. Sure, sure. Give it a gold. Give it an apple. Yeah, got full health back. Got some more gold. Shit, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh, so gratifying. So gratifying to to master tasks in a hard game. I mean, this is the first level, so this is just the beginning, right? 
we're barely scratching the surface of the difficulty this game has to offer. But look at this, look how much fun it is to destroy blocks. Like something so mundane that is just turned into fun because of such simple tweaking of mechanics that have just been, you know, adjusted and readjusted and play tested and readjusted again and just meticulously worked on and worked on. Like, you can tell how much, like, love went into this game. It's really uh, a testament to how dedicated some people can be to uh, just making an experience worthwhile feeling. Um, I'm kind of gushing at this at the moment because, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really good. I mean, it's fun. I haven't had fun like this with a, well, I mean, not to say I don't play fun games. I mean, I like fun games. It's just, this is a very different kind of fun. It feels very different. It's like, it's like the first time I played Retro City Rampage where it, it just reminded me of so much old stuff, but it was fresh and it's new and, uh, everything in it is so original. I mean... <laughs> Not absolutely everything. I mean, you still have life, you still have magic, you still have gold. This is all very familiar sort of stuff. Alright, we got a checkpoint. Don't attack it. <laughs> Found that out the hard way. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later! The Cerulean Coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible Knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! I expect no less from you, Black Knight. Prepare to taste the pain! Yes! Mm. Urgh, look how badly I'm beating you, dude! You think you can beat me? No way, bro! Come on, man! Come on, fight me! Quit trying to hit me and hit me! Oh, he hit me! <laughs> he did what I said! He did what I said! Okay, now die! Thanks for doing what I said twice! Yeah, dude! Come on! Got a lot of points! Shit yeah, I got 5,000 gold! Aw, oh, yeah! Mm, mm, mm. Taste it! Taste the grape soda that I'm drinking. Mm. Delicious. All right. Looking to the sky. Oh, Shield Knight! Oh my God! Oh my God! My love, my pretty, my mm. fly, my pretty, fly! No, don't fall, fly! I said, you're my pretty. You should fly here. Yeah. Here, let me somehow save your life and not crush both of us. I don't know how that works. Oh, oh you just have to jump. <laughs> okay, put out the fire, because come on, we're responsible campers. My mouth's all wet. <laughs> I'm spitting everywhere. I'm sweating. Just drinking some coffee. Ah, oh, drinking some coffee, then I drank some grape soda, so I'm, I'm on the sugar, I'm on the caffeine. Oh boy, I'm also at, at, at just about 14 minutes here, so I'm gonna end this episode here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the village, I'm gonna get the upgrades. Next time, I'm gonna go to the, uh, I think I'm gonna go to the yellow place up top there. Alright, excellent! Super cool! Uh, this game is fun. Alright, I'll see you next time! See you next time on the cool video game show that you definitely shouldn't watch if you, you know, don't enjoy your life and you don't like to have fun and stuff like that. Alright.